Well, back in the churches that I grew up in, we always had Wednesday night service and we had testimonies. There'd generally be a lay leader that would get up and lead some scripture and make some comments on it. So I remember generally from the book of Psalms. And then we would go to prayer. And after prayer, why well, everyone was expected to get up and give a testimony. And oftentimes the testimony ended, I love the Lord. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Likes Devotional. And I'd like to just kind of think about our testimony that I love the Lord. You know, if we're going to get up and say that we love the Lord, that's one thing. But to really show that we love the Lord is something else. And I believe that our testimony ought to always be backed by our actions. Now, I'm thinking today of some of the messages that I've preached down across the years. And one of the messages that I have preached at times is that if we really love the Lord... Uh, we're going to love uh, the house of the Lord, among other things, of course. We're going to love the Word. We're going to love the prayer closet. We're going to love God's people. But we're going to love worship. My mind went back to my early days of ministry when I was pastoring a little church up in a community called Bynumville, Missouri. Hardly a wide spot in the road, really, but a little general store at the post office off in the corner of the store and a few houses within, I guess, what we would call the town limits, but Bynumville was just a rural area, and uh, the church there, of course, was quite small. We had 35 or 40 on a Sunday morning. That was a pretty good congregation for us at that time. Earlier years, why, it was a much stronger church when uh, people uh, occupied rural areas, all you had to do was drive up and through the country and see all the empty farmhouses and realize that one farmer was doing what three or four farmers used to do. And so naturally there weren't as many people. It wasn't a heavy populated area. But, uh, you know, I think about uh, the small church that we pastored and one particular person that had arthritis in his knee so bad that he could hardly walk. He used two canes and he would come to church and barely be able to get out of his car. He would hobble up the steps to the church and I know that he must have been in pain all through the service. I've got a knee that acts up once in a while and I know how painful it can be. And I look back to old brother Harmon and the pain that he endured with his bad knees and yet scarcely missed a service. And I thought, why does that guy make such an effort to get to church? Why is it that he really makes such an effort when the door is open to be in, in the house of the Lord? Well, it couldn't be because there's a lot of entertainment there. I guess if you had a sense of humor, you might be entertained. But we didn't have a high-powered music program at all. Our piano player at that time was probably in her upper 80s and the song leader not too far behind and with the congregation scattered throughout the sanctuary, I have to say that the singing wasn't always the best. Uh, there wasn't dynamic congregational singing. There wasn't any uh, really uh, special singing except what Carol was able to do. And uh, you know, I thought about he can't come because of the good music because it's not all that great, really. He surely wasn't coming because uh, of a high-powered preacher. I was young in ministry and very inexperienced, and I'm sure there were times that people endured my message rather than enjoyed it. So he didn't come because of a high-powered speaker that would uh, thrill his heart with uh, the truth. Uh, he came and probably endured many messages just as others did. But why would he come to church? Today we think if we have a big music program and if we have excellent ministry, we have computerized lighting and, and computerized music, well, that will bring the people in. Well, it may bring them in, but if that's the reason they come, well, that's not a real good reason. Dear old brother Harmon came to church for one reason, and that was because he loved the Lord and loved to be in the house of God at the appointed time. And I still believe that if you love the Lord, you're going to show it 
by a faithful and a consistent worship in his house. Heavenly Father, may we back up our testimony of our love for God by showing our love by regular worship. Now bless us throughout the day and on down throughout our life. In Christ's name, amen. Well, I'll see you tomorrow here on Lord Likes Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.